Uh, the boy is going to be fine. We do not have his identity. I can tell you that the Boy Scout camp this boy was part of, I'm very familiar with it. In the hundred years they've been in Catalina, they've never had an incident with a shark uh, that was just talking to them. I can also tell you that at this point, until they know, until they get an expert in to look at the bite mark, they will not be able to tell us which kind of shark it is. But I will tell you this, those of us who dive and do kayak out there, recently and, and regularly, uh, we have been seeing a large juvenile white shark in that area. We've all been talking about it. She has never been threatening in any way, but she definitely has been curious. Here's what uh, we're being told. Take a look. From what I've heard, he was bit on the hand. A Boy Scout canoeing or kayaking with his father on the ocean off Parsons Landing near Catalina. These are images of the highly popular Emerald Bay Camp facility run by the Western Los Angeles County Council for the Boy Scouts in the island. They sent us a statement saying that, quote, our camp staff quickly removed all participants from the water following this incident, and we have canceled all water activities as we work with LA County Fire department. The boy was transported to Harbor UCLA with non-life-threatening injuries to his hand, which seemingly was in the water when the shark took a bite. So we know that during the summer there's actually a growing number of large juvenile and some adult white sharks that hang out at Catalina. When Dr. Chris Lowe the with the shark the lab at Cal State time. Long Beach has been tagging the whites off the coast but has yet to identify the shark in this incident. But a large white has been seen in the area by divers and kayakers. I was on a kayak tour on a, uh, as a guide and I had a family of four. Andrew Wadley runs Catalina Kayak Tours with the Scanso Beach Ocean Sports and believes they saw the same shark a couple of weeks ago. And she looked at me and said, a shark just went underneath my kayak. And I'm like, no, nah, it's probably a sea lion or a dolphin. They took the kayaks to the beach just in case. Then... Out of nowhere, it was like a propane tank. It was like a tube come out of the water, and it was about 50 yards off the beach. It was chasing Bonita. And just like other kayak white shark encounters, like this one Fox and Levitt showed you just a few weeks ago, the sharks usually move on without an issue. And you can see that this family in the kayaks, they all huddled together and waited it out, which is the recommendation. People just always should be aware of the fact that there could be sharks out there and having your arms and legs dangling in the water while you're on a surfboard or a kayak or a canoe is something you probably shouldn't do. Now, the Catalina Island Conservancy, they're taking this very seriously. They have closed uh, the beach around uh, around the area where this happened. She's also telling me that they also closed the two harbors ocean rentals for the next 24 hours while they consult with L.A. County Baywatch and the lifeguards. Got to remember, this is a huge weekend for Catalina being the 4th of July, but they really do not want to take any chances. And uh, I can't remember, again, I've seen the shark, if it is a white shark that they decipher uh, we it has never been threatening and but we've kind of stayed away which is what they tell people to do the last incident we had was about two years ago and it was somebody on a kayak they were actually standing on it and the shark went underneath and they toppled the person over but again no no injuries at all so we'll have to see what happens but the kids should be okay i'm christina gonzalez in torrance back to you guys in the studio